reason I say try to check that with your children or definitely check that with your children is because, okay, some of the craziest people, as we, we identify as crazy, you know, um, are people who were bullied when they were younger or have traumatic experiences when they were, when they were younger. All right. So it's funny how it's usually it's always the flip side a lot of times. Um, somebody who, who didn't appear to be so tough growing up maybe end up being a person who's quick to kill you um, when they grow up based off of traumatic experiences. All right. So um, I think about, you know, I, I've seen it. I've seen it, you know. Um, so what you want to do is you want to check that early with your child um, if they are a bully if you know you got more of an aggressive child or a child who probably does pretty well amongst his peers and so therefore they want to you know look down upon and maybe bully other people who kids who may not be as popular you know as you know as regarded as your child may be at the time um, encourage your, your child to use their popularity their um whatever they have that the other kids are drawn to and respect try to get your children to change things in a positive manner okay so so they won't you know so therefore they won't pick on other kids and they won't be a part of a vicious cycle okay so um because they can use their influence for good for positive for positivity okay and then what will happen is we'll reduce things like people growing up to be, you know, mentally ill and may end up being a murderer and things like that when they grow up. Um, you'll reduce a lot of these things that happen with children with all these school shootings going up and stuff like that. A lot of these kids are people who not wasn't that popular, may have been picked on, you know what I mean? Things like that, you know, and then you see what end up happening sometimes. So, um, I think that's just very important as far as, once again, trying to fix some of the ills in society as much as we can. You know, um, a lot of it has to do with child development. And what a lot that has to do with child development is, you know, bullying and how children treat each other when they're children. When they're more um, susceptible to doing things um, that where they don't think you know they're just reacting and just doing things because they're immature they're children you know what i mean so that's where we have to step up and guide them on issues like that you know where they be they may be less um guided with those issues because i know growing up you know it's just something it's not to criticize you know it's just something that that wasn't addressed like that you know how often did somebody t talk to you about not being a bully or, you know, the most you would get out that is to not be bullied. Like, so your parent may tell you, don't let no one pick on you. Somebody hit you, hit them back. We know all those things, but that's always being the aggressor. You see what I'm saying? We never really, we don't too much talk about like, well, don't go out and don't be trying to bully nobody, you know, or pick on anybody and things like that. Stand up for, uh, for people if you see them getting bullied. You know what I mean? Um, things like that. You know, change the culture, you know, change the energy, change that, change all that. You know what I mean? But if you're doing it and you supporting it and people look up to you, then it's going to continue. All right. So um, ultimately, that's it. Short and to the point. Um, yeah. Yep. All right, guys. Hopefully this was a helpful video. Peace.